Thanks for joining our video demo series for the Oracle ZFS storage appliance. Now I'm going to spend some time showing you how to remove and import pools into a ZFS storage appliance. This is commonly used uh, if you are upgrading storage controllers and you want to take an existing disk from one controller and put it onto a new controller from a previous generation to a new generation. So to remove a pool from the existing controllers, uh, what you do is you come in and you find the pool you want to remove and you simply click it and click unconfig. Of course, before you do this, you'd want to make sure that uh, all clients are, uh, you know, not don't have it mounted anymore, any LUNs, file systems. Uh, make sure there's no active data going on uh, before you do this because it will be uh, catastrophic if they are using any of the storage at that point. And you'll get a message. You click unconfig. It says continuing will unconfig the pool Olympic removing any file systems to learn the process. Make sure this is what you want to do before continuing. And now uh, we will say this. Uh, and it even tells you here the process can be undone by importing uh, if you didn't really mean to do this, but we do want to do this. This could also be used if you simply don't want to use this pool the way it's being used any longer. If you want, say, a different RAID type uh, uh, protection scheme, uh, or something else, or you want to split it up into multiple pools, this would be another way to do this. Of course, in that case, you would have to make sure you back up all your disks to another location uh, because all the data would be destroyed if you went ahead and created new hardware out of this. Okay, so uh, it is gone now. So if we wanted to, we could create a new pool, which we're not going to do. We're going to import it. Uh, basically, this is what you would do if you took all these shelves, connected out to the new controllers. Uh, you could do that hot. You would come over here to import instead of create a new pool. And it's going to go out and search the drives for the existing pool. Okay, the pool is now uh, back in the seize the available pool, the Olympic pool. Uh, I can go ahead and hit commit and it'll import that pool. Okay, the pool is back online, and if I go over here to shares, we'll go back and see that the existing share I had in here is there. So everything's back, so you could go ahead and on the new controllers, configure all the network and all that that you wanted to, but all your data, your shares, all that would be there intact. Thank you very much.